This video is mostly focused on you guys that have already or are planning to get some ram's horn snails as a pet for your aquariums. Those of you that accidentally got them into tank and really want to get rid of them, I've already made a video on how to get rid of pest snails and it will be in the description below. Ram's horn snails can be a very useful asset in your fish tank. They'll remove any uneaten fish food, debris, detritus and also soft algae. They'll also remove dead parts of plants and their big advantage is that they won't eat live and healthy plants. They'll also eat dead fish, snails or shrimp, but to avoid ammonia spikes and other water quality issues, I would definitely recommend to remove them from the tank immediately when you first observe them. While they're juveniles, if you would take a closer look, you can see inside of their body as they eat or digest food, and even when they grow up, because of their relatively thin shell, under a good lighting you can observe their slowly beating heart. You can also find many color variations of this snail like red, blue or pink, and especially blue and pink variations usually tend to be more expensive. But before buying them, try to ask around your local fish club or other hobbyists, because most likely you'll find a person who will be very happy to give you some of them. However, if you decide to buy them, healthy snails will most likely be seen moving or eating around the tank, and try to avoid snails that are motionless lying on the bottom or those that are floating and are not stuck to some kind of surface. They stay relatively small and can grow up to maximum size of 1 to 2 cm, depending on the variety you're keeping. The bigger the shell, the older the snail, and as the snail ages, its shell is losing its transparency. They'll do well in basically any water parameters, but ideal parameters for them are around 7 to 8 pH and temperature between 22 to 28 degrees Celsius, but they can adapt to really large scale of water parameters. Important supplement to their diet is also calcium, and they need to provide enough for them in a tank, otherwise they may have a bit slower growth rate, and their shell would not grow as thick and may even have some cracks. Their lifespan is approximately one year, but under the right conditions it may be longer. Talking about their weaknesses, the main, as with majority of snails, is their reproduction. If they have enough food and good conditions, they'll reproduce crazily fast. We're talking from 10 snails, maybe a couple of hundreds in two months easily. Therefore, bear in mind that if you're getting these guys, you'll need to reduce their numbers. I usually do it manually and feed them to my fish, but assassin snails can also do the job for you. Annoying is also the way they reproduce. They lay egg clutches all around the tank immediately after a few days of being introduced, and they will lay their eggs anywhere in the tank. They have very peaceful nature and get along with basically any tank mates and other snails or shrimp. I personally enjoy having them in my tanks as they help me to recreate the natural ecosystem I'm usually aiming for.